What is going on wizards and witches and welcome to another Hogwarts Legacy video. Today we're going to be talking about a secret cave, secret dungeon, or a secret place that we're going to be able to access. We currently don't know how we're going to access this place, but we're going to speculate just a little bit in the video. But we're also going to be talking about where this secret cave could possibly lead us to. And that possibility could be the Black Lake. We're going to be talking about the Black Lake and what we can discover there. So with that being said, guys, let's take a look at what exactly was found. And then we're going to dive in and speculate a little bit how we might be able to access this area and what might be inside this particular area. Now, big shout out to Reddit user BNS Victory for actually writing and posting about this potential cave underneath the Hogwarts Castle. Now this potential cave guys, you actually have to zoom down on the image and also on the trailer to find out exactly where this cave is located. I'm going to pull up a picture right here so you guys can see the castle at a further distance. And one thing you're going to notice at the castle, there are a lot of stuff within the castle. But surrounding the castle there is a big body of water. Now apart from that big body of water right underneath the castle, you're going to notice that there seems to be some sort of waterfall or some sort of curtain thing falling down from with one of the scaffoldings where you are going to be able to walk across. Now we zoom into this image, you're going to notice that within this image there is a big, big massive cave or entrance underneath either that scaffolding or that body of waterfall that is falling down. Now this is said to be an entrance or a hidden cave or a hidden dungeon that's going to lead us to a particular place. Now there's a couple of speculations of what this dungeon might be. Some people have stated that this might be the Slytherin common room because as you know it stated that it's below water lines and this might be the entrance to the Slytherin common room but apart from that people are speculating that this could be the entrance of the Black Lake. The reason being guys is because the Great Body of Water also known as the Great Lake or the Black Lake is located on the south of the Hogwarts Castle and can be seen for a moment in the starting frames of the official reveal trailer which is what I showed you guys right there. Now it makes perfect sense because this is on the south side of the Hogwarts Castle and it also is close to the Great Lake. Now the Great Lake played a major part in the fourth installment of the movie The Goblet of Fire during the Triwizard Tournament. Now during the movie you guys remember Harry actually dived in, into the lake and was able to rescue his friend. Now that small sequence actually featured an appearance of the mere people which are the people who currently reside in the Black Lake. Now what do these people look like? They're tall, white, skinny, kind of alien looking people like Grey with green hair and yellow eyes and robes and also wearing a, a lot of pebbles around their neck. Now a lot of people are hoping that the game will have the ability to explore the underwater of the actual castle itself to be able to find a little bit more information about what the Great Lake or the Black Lake actually has in store for us. Now according to the Harry Potter wiki, the actual Great Lake has very unusual inhabitants including a giant squid, a village full of mere people, and many grind lows. Now the giant squid is said to be a semi-domesticated type of creature. Now the students of Hogwarts Legacies have certain time or their time permitted to tickle its tentacles on a sunny day when it basks in the shadows. The lake also has the Selkies, which are pretty much like the Mere People, and the island of the Bow Trucklers. Now, of course, everybody has been extremely eager to know a little bit more about these particular rare creatures and the long list of different animals that we have known through the wiki and haven't been able to presence them within any of the movies. And seeing how this is a game, we do expect that some really amazing creatures that we've never seen before actually make appearance in Hogwarts Legacy. Now, unfortunately, guys, none of the trailers or none of the actual little snippets that they put up on Twitter or on Instagram have shown us anything that kind of insinuates that we're going to have underground exploration. Now, we're hoping and crossing our fingers that we're able to explore any of these lakes or any of the water features, either means by riding a boat or by pretty much swimming and being able to have different areas to go because that would make the game so much more dynamic and giving us an extensive array of different areas to explore. Now talking about exploration guys, you're definitely going to want to make sure you watch this video to know how many professors are currently right now in the game so you guys can know what professor you probably want to choose depending on what type of house you decide to go with. In addition to that guys, there's some amazing features that you might not know of so check out these two videos that are popping up in the screen to help you identify what those features are and what type of professors we're having we're going to be able to have in Hogwarts Legacy. If you're enjoying a Hogwarts Legacy coverage, make sure you guys do me a favor, guys. Drop a like, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. Thank you guys for watching, guys, and I will catch you guys on the next video.